My mother died, and all she left me was an old coat. <laughs> My mother died, and all she left me was an old coat. <laughs> Did she leave a note? I asked, wiping the tears from my eyes. I asked, wiping the tears from my eyes. My sister Erica had called me and told me that our mother had committed suicide. Once the shock had passed, that was the first question I asked. She... She did... But... But all I, all I said was, I'm sorry. Erika replied with a sniffle. <laughs> we spent the rest of the conversation speculating why she would do something like that. Neither of us had a clue. The best we could come up with was that she missed our father, who had passed away from cancer three years earlier. Before I got on the phone, Erika gave me the details of the memorial service that our mother had apparently set up in the weeks before her death. That all happened a week ago. I thought that, I thought that would be the end of our family's ordeal, but that was not the case. The day of the memorial service, Erika and I got a call from a lawyer telling us that our mother had left specific instructions for him in her will. That was why the both of us were now seated across from him in his office. When he read the will, we weren't surprised to hear that our mother had divided everything up equally between me and my sister. So that's it. He called us down here just to tell us we each get half? I asked. Not exactly. Your mother did have one additional request. The lawyer replied. What? What is it? I asked. I'm afraid I'm going to ask you to leave the office, Mrs. Payne. The lawyer said to my sister. Oh, why can't she stay? I asked. Your mother left specific instructions that the item I am to give you is for your eyes only. The lawyer replied. It's okay. I'll be outside. Erika said before excusing herself from the office. Once my sister was gone, the lawyer got up and retrieved an old wool coat from his closet, which he carried over to me. Your mother wanted you to have this. Put it on. Your mother said not to let you leave until you tried it on. Huh? A coat? Oh, what's so special about a coat? What? Oh, this is so stupid, alright? Happy now? I said as I put the coat on. I said as I put the coat on. I thrust my hands into the pockets of the coat. When I did it, when I did, my right hand brushed against a folded piece of paper. I pulled it out, unfolded it, and I read the message written inside. This is what it said. This coat belonged to your real mother. This coat belonged to your real mother. I stole it. I stole it when I kidnapped you. My world suddenly flipped upside down, and with that came the realization that I was the reason my mother had committed suicide. A few weeks before she killed herself, I told her that I took a DNA test because I was curious about our heritage.
She did. There was a note. But all he said was, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll be outside. Yeah, it's half one, half one. Not exactly. Your mother did have one additional request. The lawyer said to my sister,